So interview will ask us to write a function which we can call just like this with n number of parameters. So if you have a function like this sum and we can say one, one and two. So this should give us three, but we can also call this function like this. We can add four, five, or we can add n number of parameters after this. And this should be flexible according to the number of parameters and should give us the answer accordingly, which in this case is going to be 12. So let's say we have five, two, four, eight over here. So first of all, we provided it with the five and it returned us a function, okay? So then we again called it with two. We called B with the two, but if, it's gonna check if two is there or not. If there is some value inside of B or not, only then it's going to return the addition. Otherwise, it's just going to return the initial five value, the sum of those numbers up until that point. So, okay, so we did have two at that point. So we said, okay, if two is there, then return A plus B. So five plus two was returned. So five plus two, that is seven, went inside of this function. So now its value is seven over here, but then again, it's gonna return another function. Then it's gonna check if we are calling that function as empty, but no, this is not empty. It has four inside of it. So then again, it's going to check if there's something inside of the B, then return A plus B. So this cycle will run again and again and again until we reach this point. So up until this point, the value was 19. So then it's gonna have a 19 value over here and it's gonna return a function again. And then it's gonna check if B has something, but here B doesn't have anything. So it's not gonna go inside of it. And it's just going to return A that is 19 from here. So our answer is going to be 19. Yep, we got this output over here.